When you don't know your worth, people place you in positions you don't deserve. When you look good, you feel good. Why should you write a whole paragraph? Sometimes friends are distraction. Why not change that loving yourself into action and going to the gym? So who are you following on social media? Do you like yourself? You can't be walking around with a bonnet all around town. Why would you beg someone to be in your life? Hi loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Kamsi Namani and I'm back with my 20 series videos. So in today's video, the topic is how to reinvent yourself or glow up in 2024. And whew, do I have a lot to say on this topic, but I'm going to try my best to narrow them down so that this video is not too long, but all I'm going to say is make sure you are taking notes. Okay, let's begin. Just to be sure that we are all on the same page, what I define reinventing, rebranding or glowing up to mean is just changing your identity. I'm so sorry, but I have to bring that back. I made that video for a reason. So reinventing yourself is it's not like you hate your current state, but you know you can improve. So one of the first things you can do is actually improve your physical state. I'm mostly talking to women, but if you're also a guy, you can switch it around. Your hair, how you look, your teeth, different things. I recently, I don't know if it's recently, but I did get braces at some point because I wasn't really satisfied with my teeth. Not to say that anything was wrong with it, but I personally did not like it. And that's another point. What do you not like? that you know needs improving according to you not according to any other person not because this person said oh you should change this, this person change this person said oh change that you what are you not comfortable with and then try to find out ways to improve that so let's say your hair maybe your natural hair whatever your hair is is not its best and you know that you can take better care of it there's so many tutorials on youtube on how to take care of your hair whether it relaxed or you know in its natural state there are so many things you can do to improve that i definitely agree that when you look good you feel good when you have gotten your my main thing is hair i don't know i think most black women will agree when my hair is good my nails are done my lashes are done my eyebrows are threaded or you know shaped up i've done my wax everything your mood is just boosted and when you feel when you look good it just exudes that energy again this is not all it takes to glow up there's more work to be done but i feel this is the easiest way because it's all physical it's all tangible what you can see the real hard work is internally which is what we're getting to but your physical appearance honestly is a big factor in you growing up you can't be walking around with a bonnet yes I said it. You can't be walking around with a bonnet all around town and say that you have reverted yourself to what? No. Okay. So in reverting yourself physically, it's good to, for you to have someone you look up to, or you don't even have to know the person in real life. Maybe on social media, in a movie, or maybe a character you related to in a movie. It's good to have that in your mind. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the person you have in your mind is not walking around with a bonnet. Let's just, for those of you who want to be funny, and there's nothing wrong with trying to be like that. It doesn't make you fake. It doesn't make you inauthentic. It's just you trying to reinvent and rebrand. If you're someone that they know you to not shower at night, for example. Something I've learned that really helps is whenever I don't like a task, I try to ask myself, why do i not like this task so let's say you don't shower at night why okay is it that you don't like how your bathroom is some people you know it happens if you don't like how your bathroom looks it doesn't make you want to go there so maybe try improving the experience that's my thing if i don't like something i try to make it an experience so if it's the bathroom maybe buying a nice floor mat or bringing inexpensive candles in there to change the smell of the bathroom try to make it something you enjoy for example cooking is not my best Thing to do in the world so how i make it something i can enjoy is either bringing my laptop with netflix or playing music or maybe talking to a friend on the phone to just make that experience a lot more manageable so if you don't like to shower maybe try buying soaps that you really like the fragrance of 
body scrubs that just just improve the whole tax so when you think of showering you think of the candle you've put in the bathroom you think of oh i just got this really nice body wash i want to try you think of the body scrub then maybe you have skincare you like applying um, skincare you think of how your skin is going to be like a glazed or not this is what comes to mind when i when i think of showering i love to shower i can't sleep without showering like i would actually be up it's never about a clean thing my body can't shut down if it doesn't feel clean so when i think of showering i love it because i'm like oh my god hot shower nice body wash oh my scrub i'm going to try and do this oh this and that, and that. i just love how i feel after so that that's what makes it enjoyable so ask yourself what are things you don't like let's say you don't like to stay so long at the hair salon maybe try a different hairstyle that doesn't take that long because honestly as i'm getting older i don't like looking unkept people always tell me that oh i never keep my braids in for long because guys i honestly do not like that rough look <laughs> that is literally why once it becomes rough it's out i don't like it it's not the vibes it makes me it doesn't make me feel like my best self or the woman i'm trying to be and i change it i switch it up <laughs> so let's say you don't like getting your hair done because your hair is always hurting or your scalp is tender try to find hairstyles that do not stress you out so that when you think of the act it will just be better i don't like getting my nails done and my lashes done i feel like they take too long and I'm just there. So what what do I do when I'm about to get my lashes done? I just try and scroll through podcasts I've been wanting to listen to. Because if you're not familiar to get your if you don't know to get your lashes done, you have to close your eyes for two hours plus. And I'm not someone that sleeps that much. People just sleep. I rarely ever sleep unless I'm really really tired. So I'm just up and listen to music to me for two hours. Like my ears will start hurting me. But if I'm listening to podcasts, it doesn't have to be something so deep. Honestly. You can't just listen to gist, right? But try to make it an experience. Like, I need to get my lashes done. I need to get my nails done because I, I can't be walking around with crusty nails. So how am I going to make this task enjoyable? That's what you need to ask yourself. Every task that is a chore to you, find how you can make it at least manageable. It will help you do it more. As opposed to pushing it out here, pushing it away, pushing it away, and you look like you shouldn't be pushing it forward okay so we've mentioned hair we've mentioned lashes we've mentioned your shower routine another one is matching pjs <laughs> shameless plug i do have my own sleepwear and loungewear brand k casa and why i started this business because i loved wearing matching pajama sets it makes a difference it made me feel like i was in a movie it made me feel like i wasn't in this surrounding if you know what i'm trying to say it just made me feel more put together like i had my life in order like i knew what i was doing and i feel like it gives people that impression as well when you shower and you just lay out a pair of comfy pajama sets and you're on your bed you're sitting down life feels good even for that second which is so good in reinventing ourselves and rebranding you have to feel good it helps you look at life differently right so when i said doing that i would always get questions like oh, how are you getting this sis? because people liked it and then you know i started my business my best self wears pj sets my best self has a skincare routine a bath time routine eats at this particular time goes to bed sleeps a full eight hours we're still working on that but at least i had that in my mind so when i'm buying pj sets i don't feel like oh i'm wasting money it's more like no i'm trying to be a particular type of woman and i want to make this a habit so if i start buying these things now and start investing in these things now my future self will thank me another aspect of the physical glow up is your health i recently started doing dry january this is my first dry january and when i tell you i didn't know how dependent i was on alcohol until i made a conscious effort to not drink alcohol i feel like a lot of us are not aware of how much we're actually consuming and it's so normalized even though it's not good like you shouldn't be taking the amount of alcohol <laughs> that you probably take it can affect your liver it can affect your brain so again who is that person you're trying to be she's healthy i'm pretty sure she's healthy and you want her to live long so we have to actually take responsibility and start taking care of ourselves not when we are in our 50s or 60s we have so much more advantages 
um, than our parents did. We have social media, literally like there are TikToks of medical professionals giving us tips and what to do, what not to do. You honestly do not have an excuse, right? So with your health, be serious with your health. If you're a woman and you are at least 25, get a pap smear. Yeah, get a pap smear. Go for your full bodily checkups. This is not about whether you're sexually active or not. You need to check your body. You need to take responsibility for yourself. This is the year to do it. You are reinventing yourself. You're rebranding. You know, you don't want to be how you've always been, right? So you can't keep doing the things you've always been doing. What is insanity? So if you never did a health checkup, good. You're doing it now because you're a new person or you're trying to be a new person. Your identity has shifted and you need to take these things seriously. Doing exercises, I had mentioned in my morning routine, if you haven't watched that, I'll put it on the screen of how sometimes I don't feel like going to the gym. Trying to make things an experience. So the alternative is to go for Pilates or yoga or just even just take a walk, right? If you can't do that, take a walk, make sure you're moving your body. The new year is the best time to set these things so that okay this, um, so this is my plan for this year i want to do this 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 let me not wait for it to be a problem before i do it and when you start doing these things you will honestly enjoy it it won't be a chore when you make it an experience or when you know that there are no excuses i can't be walking around and my nails are up to here whether you have boyfriend or not whether you have husband or not it's not about any other person but yourself i see this in my vlogs i'm like this is not the brand. I'm always like, so off brand. I'm actually not joking. Like when I see myself, I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, girl, this is off brand. Mm -mm, cut it, cut it. Let's go get, let's go get this fixed. Right. This is what you need to be telling yourself when you see your hair, like, sis, is this who we're trying to be in 2024? Someone I wanted to use an example is Jordan Woods. Jordan Woods is a prime example of what reinventing and rebranding yourself can do for you. Do you see how things just whoop? It just kept going and going and going. You see how she just changed? Not to say that there was no internal work, like I said, but still coming to that. But just looking looking at her alone, that is the loudest and most obvious way people can see that you are different. People like to call it superficial when you take your physical appearance seriously, which is not true. Those are just jealous people or people who don't see themselves the same way you do. When you look good, you feel good most of the time at least you're halfway there right so do it so now i've kind of covered the physical which is very important in reinventing and rebranding ourselves i'd like to dive into the psychological which i kind of touched on when i mentioned you know changing your identity identity because that is psychological thing to look at yourself differently and act differently because you're not the same person so still on that psychological topic you have to work on in here in here and in here in here and in here it cannot be the same you can change how you can be like <laughs> you can go under the knife you can change your and reconstruct your entire face you can change your body you can change everything to try and look like a body or whatever if you have not changed how you view yourself and how you think you are still the same person if you feel like hmm men treat me this way because of how i look and you go under the knife and you do all these other things if you still act the same way they will treat you the same way maybe in the beginning they like what they see they they change their mind but if you're still not confident if you're still a picnisha <laughs> that is someone who's always like a people pleaser you don't you don't know your own worth you are still that same person so please 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 in as much as the physical aspect is important your psychological aspect you need to also improve on that i mentioned physical because it's the fastest and easiest way compared to your psychological psychological can take years on learning things we have been doing the same thing for years don't expect that in one month because you said that you change your identity is going to change no if you've always been talking down on yourself one month of trying to say nice things is not going to change years of that of doing that bad habit so know that it will take time okay knowing that it will take time will help you not give up easily so the first step in changing your psyche or how you see yourself is learning to like yourself do you like yourself and i honestly mean that question in the best way people say love but i even feel that's too deep do you like yourself 
do you like yourself yes i know that if they're trying to kill people you will run because you love your life right but do you like yourself do you like that inner voice in you do you like it take a moment to answer that because this is the foundation of everything this is foundation of how you view yourself your relationship with people be it family be it a romantic relationship all these things are based on how you relate to yourself if you love yourself and like yourself you won't put yourself in certain situations sometimes what is stopping us from fully 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 embracing ourselves is what we see in the mirror and i feel that people that say oh my god it doesn't matter are usually what's the word ignorant <laughs> because if something's an insecurity for you you might not understand why it's an insecurity for someone else so growing up as well is knowing that people are different for example i got braces or that that boosted my i wasn't confident but when i got it done <laughs> i was confident times 10 right so if you know that there are certain things it might be weight for example if you think you can lose a few pounds it will help you in liking yourself i do not agree with this toxic positivity of like yourself, like yourself, but you don't do anything to change what you don't like right you can love yourself but if you don't like what you see in the mirror and you know that it's because of this weight why not change that loving yourself into action and going to the gym because you love yourself and know that you deserve to have the body you know you can have by just putting this much discipline when you love yourself you want the best for yourself i always talk about treating yourself i think i can now call it dating yourself some of us need to date ourselves right like sometimes i feel like a lot of women do it but you know you're dating yourself like oh i want that dress i like that dress i'm gonna buy it uh i'm hungry hmm, let me spoil myself let me go to my favorite restaurant it's not any event i just feel like i've worked this week i want to treat myself same thing when it comes to your career who is that woman you envision yourself to be does she have a good job does she work this type of job what does it take to get to that position does it mean you have to write some exams does it mean you have to give up going out with your friends in order to study and pass these exams and you're able to earn that income you know you can earn or to get to that position you know you can get to if you just put in the work you need to love yourself something that really helps you stay on track with rebranding and reinventing yourself is surrounding yourself with things that remind you of that better version of yourself so this can be on social media who do you follow on social media one time one of my friends <laughs> took was on my phone and was on my tiktok and she was like come see like nothing screams nigeria and your entire tiktok I was like i like it like that <laughs> i said i like it like that i need my sanity so i was able to build my social media especially on tiktok what i want to spend time on before you find nigerian content not that i don't like it but i live here it's fine i see it every day i don't need to be reminded constantly even when i'm on my bed trying to relax i'm still seeing nigerian i'm tired right i want to escape okay so do that for yourself who are you following on social media do they encourage you to be that person you're trying to build are they pulling you back are they pulling you back if you're the person i mentioned earlier that I used to wear bonnets out in public or you curse frequently and your for you page is filled with people like cardi b or megan the stallion like always twerking half naked if that's not the person you're trying to be you shouldn't be following or if you're following you shouldn't be every single post you're seeing because it's not helping you become that person you're trying to be by consuming content that it's always pushing that you're fighting yourself you're not making way for yourself you need to follow people that mirror who you're trying to be you need to listen to people that mirror who you're trying to be but podcasts if you're trying to be a businesswoman listen to podcasts that talk about business about how to navigate the world of whatever your career is fill your head your heart everything with all you're trying to be your surrounding as well my apartment for example i wanted when i walk in here again i've escaped <laughs> try to make your surrounding your room wherever you are a place you would like to be in it helps your mood so much you have no idea sometimes you can feel trapped you're looking around because a lot of people are asking me ah do you rent this place why did you put so much work because i'm like girl i cannot work in a place that i'm not inspired by after nothing know yourself the same way you like yourself know thyself i'm not doing it for any other person if you're a person that you can stay wherever and function good for you 
and yours for me it can't work i am so dependent on my surrounding it affects my psyche i'm a creative i need to be in an environment that helps my creativity right so when i'm around things that do not help or look like anything i want to be a part of i can't create because i don't like where i am if someone is seeing us a waste of money that's good for them and theirs okay it has nothing to do with you another point about your surrounding are your friends as well using jordan again as an example when she was with kylie not to say that kylie was a bad friend i feel like they had a good relationship no friendship is perfect but the minute she left kylie you can see how things started going up for her i feel like some of us are surrounded by people that you can't grow with them in your corner no they don't support you but it's like you have to stand on your own and be your own individual in order for you to find yourself know what you can do and then work from there sometimes friends are distractions and no one is saying bad friends for example which is why i like this example because people might be like oh my gosh she's a bad friend she might be an amazing person but you know for you to grow you need to detach it has nothing to do with jealousy or anything maybe you just can't get to your full potential with her in your corner and the flip side they're the bad friends that do not want you to grow listen let me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> this has happened to me personally you can never go with some people they can never see you any differently and that's fine but i don't have to stick around for that okay if how i am now is not how i was when you met me 10 years ago thank goodness that's not a bad thing you're supposed to change you're supposed to say same so don't ever feel bad for trying to improve yourself you need to leave that space you don't have to burn the bridge or fight but if you need to leave that space to be better my dear leave that space leave that group they don't, they don't used to win award for best in staying the same or best in not changing okay yeah so all this to say when you reinventing and rebranding yourself you start to see your value when you don't know your worth people place you in positions you don't deserve this is what i get when you do not know your worth people place you in positions that you do not deserve it's in friendships this is in relationships most ask questions i get are always relationship based there are certain kinds of men that when you see it's an immediately no not a chance in hell <laughs> and honestly this doesn't always have to do with money so please do not base your value or a value of a man on what he earns or how much he has in his account that's setting yourself short that's not all that matters it can be part of the things you want you want someone who is doing more for himself cool but that cannot be your only basis for someone having access to you that makes you cheap you can't be it can't be based on that when you are doing all of this you're dating yourself you're knowing yourself so you have certain expectations for other people so when people not even see you doing that for yourself they're like i have to come correct because if she's doing this for herself i can't just be doing anything less to just be standing there i have to add to what she's already doing like i said know thyself if you don't know yourself you will not know who you're best suited for if a man has political prospects when he's actually picking a wife or girlfriend in his mind he's like will she fit into what i'm trying to do in future you need to know what do i want to do with my life what do i want who do i see myself being in the future does this man I'm talking to right now does he fit what i'm trying to be does he seem like the husband of the type of woman i'm trying to be if you're trying to be a career woman and you're talking to someone who does not like when you speak when he's speaking <laughs> i don't know what to tell you girl <laughs> i don't know what to tell you so if you're someone that used to beg for relationships or beg for people to treat you better stop that stop that stop that stop that that's not the rebranded glowed up version of yourself why would you beg someone to be in your life this beautiful curated life you've made for yourself you're not begging if you don't know something good they are lost it's not your loss so why should you beg why should you write a whole paragraph side eye. whole paragraph explaining what why they did this because they don't know what they did operate from a place of abundance not scarcity when you think from less everything is so myopic you're just like oh my god if this doesn't work this way it's never going to work when you open it up you're like well if it doesn't work this way it can work this way it can work that way it can work this way so it's not that deep 
<laughs> okay loves i hope this video was helpful i just wanted to summarize all my points so that we don't sleep here but the main takeaway is to always have the version of yourself you want to be in your head this is how you will reinvent rebrand and glow up in 2024 do not let another year pass you by it's so sad when i think that some people do not like their life always try to see how you can make the best out of your situation we have one life to live we actually have one life to live don't stay with someone that's making your one life miserable for what have you seen yourself please please please, please stop it today okay i hope you guys loved this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye